Hi everyone, it's Agatha from Simply Grow and today I'm going to show you a super simple activity that you can arrange in just a couple of minutes and it's going to bring lots and lots of giggles and lots of benefits as well when it comes to sensory development and, and an early brain development for your little one. And it's as simple as that, it's a sensory bottle. So you need a plastic see-through bottle and inside you're going to um, have a look in your kitchen cupboards and see what materials you can find that are making noise when put in a plastic bottle. So if you listen to this one, you've got a little bit of rice with a few colorful pom-poms just to stimulate the vision a little bit more. But if you don't have that, you just have rice, that's going to be absolutely fine. Um, having said that, if you don't have pom-poms, I'm sure you've got some tin foil in the, in the house. You can make a few bowls from it and add it to your material. Over here you've got red lentils, different type of noise that they make, a different to rice. Over here, some broken spaghetti pasta. Again, a different type of noise. So I use these small ones as in our Simply Sensory Sessions. These are perfect for babies as they're much easier to hold on to, easier for reach and grasp. If I need to set on the little one's chest, it's going to be easier for them to do this and just hold on to it. Um, but if you don't have a small bottle like that, a big bottle is a fantastic alternative. So over here, it's an empty water bottle. That's another way to reuse it rather than put it in the bin. Fantastic way to reuse your uh, plastic bottles. So in this one, this one makes proper noise. So over here we've got some pasta, we've got some spaghetti pasta, we've got rice, pom-poms, wooden buttons, uh, some little um, goggly eyes to just add to it a little bit, to the visual aspect of it. It's a lovely sound. So you say, <laughs> over here we've got different type of noise, different types of sound. And over here we've got twigs and sticks and few pom-poms as well. So be as creative as you wish. Um, the trick is to make sure it's noisy enough so when you shake it, it's going to make the noise. And um, whenever you organize these, make sure that they are sealed properly. They are nice and tight so your baby can't open it. So uh, babies, toddlers, 13 months plus, make sure that you put a little bit of glue maybe inside or um, tight, um, seal it extra tight to make sure you don't open it as those dexterity and problem solving abilities um, really um, spike um, 13 months plus so um, babies get very creative with getting into um, containers so definitely uh, something I would recommend there's so many benefits of it and um, before I mention the benefits it's going to be so much fun for your little one and you're going to be an absolute playtime pro with that as you can make a new one each week as you can hear they make different types of sounds so we can play with them and by just simply shaking them. So you can shake it for your baby if they're still a newborn. You can let your older baby shake it by themselves. You can show them two different types of materials, what different type of noise they make. Okay, and you can also, uh, with the newborn babies, you can shake it around their head to let them explore the sound from different angles, from different directions. Um, and you can replace them weekly, you're going to have a new toy each week and your little one is going to look at it as if it was something completely different, completely unique. Um, so when it comes to benefits, 100% supports um, cause and effect. So I shake something and it makes noise. Cause and effect is one of those things that are so, so important during the first year as it really develops. And if you think about it, so much of our life is based on cause and effect. We press buttons to make something happen and we have a drink because we are thirsty. So that's kind of cause and effect as well, if you think about it. So there are so many different things based on cause and effect in our lives. So babies have to do a lot of learning, playing, and through that learning uh, to reach, to learn about that important um, life process, if you wish. And it's also fantastic for hand coordination, uh, for reach and grasp, and very, very important, creativity. Because at the end of the day, when we shake it, we make music. It's a different type of music when I shake it fast, and it's a different one. And I shake it slowly 
and it's so important to encourage the creativity during the first years of life to really build that creative foundation in the brain as well there is a special part of the brain responsible for creativity and unfortunately when your little ones go to a more formal education to primary school and secondary school uh, creative subjects are not um, valued as much as core subjects if you ask why if you don't know what it's about it's always about money so unfortunately there isn't as much funding into creative subjects at the moment fingers crossed it's going to change at some point but um, it definitely is a big big shame so it's important to develop the creativity in the first few years of your little one's lives and to make sure that there is a strong foundation so whatever they've got um, a little bit here and there of that they're going to enjoy it and their brain is going to be prepared for it so that's a different, definitely fantastic activity to try please let me know um, about your sensory bottles send me some pictures send me some videos um, and have some fun with it uh, but always remember to supervise your child's play to make it safe as well as fun and i hope you enjoyed our today's idea bye